So, Braven thinks he might know um, what's going on with his Yukon. I, I always want to call it a Tahoe with his Yukon. Yeah, um, I think it's the crank position sensor. So while I was driving it before, it would always like lose RPM, like the RPM gauge. It would just like skyrocket. And then yeah, it would jump down. around. Yeah. yeah, and then um, and it honestly didn't do it a lot. Looking up symptoms and stuff for crank position sensors, and the main symptom is not sending sparks to spark plugs. So I honestly, I was just like, you know what? Worst case scenario, just change it. I mean, that could be a problem from the beginning. Yeah. Well, he he also had an issue. With the Colorado, the engine that he got, the crank position sensor was going bad. Yeah. And he kept having stupid little problems with the Colorado, which had him chasing his tail with it because we literally just put the engine in there. The the engine harness, all the wiring, like all that stuff was all done by Braven. And he's like, what did I do wrong? You know what I'm saying? And then it ended up just being a sensor that was going bad. Yeah. <laughs> So, so like right now it's like holy crap you just did all this freaking work to the truck and now it won't start it's like did i do something wrong hopefully it is just the that just that sensor and if it's just that sensor then i'm gonna be like all right thank god yeah but i gotta pull the starter in order to get i have yeah. a brand new starter for it so i'm gonna throw a new starter as well while i'm at it so yeah screw, screw it. it while you're in there may as well bro that bird is just chilling in the middle of the street it's like i'm done i'm done take me out just waiting for a car to come around the corner i'm done i don't want to live no more can't find no bread ain't no damn seat out here it's cold it's wet it's rainy i hate it Just take me out <laughs> fast forward raven's off work and he picked up a new sensor in which this is not it this is the old one he's currently trying to find the hole back there to put the new one in i got it in the hole guys <laughs> all right so so far crank position sensor now he's doing a cam position sensor so we're gonna see if this thing fires up starts chopping I hope so, man. it is this is gonna work this is it has to be it go give it a try or I'll do it for you. Better hurry up, get your leg out of there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if these sensors are bad, so we're gonna keep them. Yeah. I oughta cleaned the old ones up and returned them bitches. Yeah, but the thing is now I got I returned them bitches. I got lifetime warranty, so. Yeah, I guess. I turn them in and then just get brand new ones to keep on the shelf. That works. Yeah. But Fire in a hole. Hey! Hey! Damn, boy. This Damn. thing came to life. Bro, you know how much gas is probably in the cylinders? <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh my shit. God. Thank God, bro. All right, let's get the intake so this thing go through a heat cycle. Dude. <laughs> Freaking chop fire right up, ball choppy like. That's freaking, bro, y'all don't even understand. If that didn't work, I would have been like, I don't even know what to do, bro. I don't even know what to do, man. So crank position sensor and cam position sensor. Crank didn't do nothing, so it was the cam position sensor, but yeah. now it has both brand new. I'd rather have both brand new than nothing at all. Either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm gonna use your warranty, go swap mine out now. All right, <laughs> all right there it is, man. So, uh, no spark. And well, to be honest with you, we don't know if the fuel injectors was not shooting or not, because uh, those little diode, li those little light things, I'd never know if those things are working, but definitely didn't have spark. So if you guys ever run into that problem, no spark at all. We, we tried multiple crank position sensor or cam position sensor. So on Braven's truck, the crank position sensor caused the exact same problem. And now on the Yukon, the cam position sensor caused the exact same problem. So there it is. And uh, crank position sensor was 80 bucks. Cam position was 60 something. So just trying to be as informational as I can. Braven's grabbing the intake off of his Colorado. If you didn't know, he shares the intake because the one that came on the Yukon just fits on the Colorado so well. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. The Yukon is finally gonna get off my back porch. <laughs> yeah, it's left some, uh, it needs a transmission seal, so uh, it's left a fat little puddle down there for you. Dude. Dude, it's fat too. Don't fucking tell me that. I have to tell you before I move it so then it doesn't just surprise you. Because yeah. <laughs> it's fat. It's like the one place that I don't have oil stains all over the damn place. I know. That's next, I promise. Before the turbo, what? I'm gonna do the, the, the oil gotta do transmission fluids oh you're gonna fix your your leak yeah that's oh thanks i oh you thought you're over here with your prop 
No, you're over here with your promise shit. I thought you were gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the oil stains for oh, you. Oh, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about I was getting rid of the thing that makes oil stains. Bro. <laughs> from the trees. <laughs> oh, those headers are gonna burn some shit off for sure. Go frolic and play. Go frolic and play. Well, it is the next day once again, and as we had feared, so hear me out. You know, I mentioned you guys this thing was making a noise, and we were hoping it was valve train. So that was one of the reasons why Braven tore the heads off and everything. And then of course found the heads were cracked, and we found that that one lifter had a, a little bit of a shiny spot like right on the corner and we had our fingers crossed hoping that that was the noise that we heard but got all the new heads everything's all on there and it's still making the noise yeah so braven also popped the belt off last night um so it then started it with the belt off and it was still making the noise so that just rules out any of the accessories are binding up but yeah so the uh the whole engine's gonna be coming out yeah <laughs> yeah it sucks. well i mean luckily everything that you did wasn't for no reason no, you did yeah, have they're cracked all heads still good. They're the, all still good, the, yeah. the the only downside is you gotta get new head gaskets again yeah, but which is fine i really don't mind um the big thing for me is just actually taking it out and rebuilding the block yeah. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, it's really not that big of a deal. I'd rather just do it and make sure that I have a reliable car, change a bunch of, like, I'll change the oil pump while I'm there, get a new water pump. Yeah, you know it'll saying? just I be completely the rebuilt. Yeah, rebuilt. I'll be able to do the trans seal because I'll have to pull the trans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the noise that it's making, we were looking up, like, all night I was looking at, you know how people post that stuff on YouTube, like videos of whatever noises that their vehicle is making? Uh, I couldn't really find anything that sounds similar. Uh, somebody on Instagram sent him a video of what theirs sounded like when it had a, was it a rod bearing or main bearing? I don't know. Just one of them? spun a bearing. So it, it had spun a bearing, but it wasn't like to the point to where it was knocking yet. So... And it sounded exactly like what it is Braven's truck is doing. So, yeah. Yeah, and I asked I asked a few people. I like I asked Robbie V and sent him the video and asked him what it is that he thought about it. Yeah. And he uh, he just said that the, the he's never had an oil pump make that kind of noise before. That it, it almost seems as if it might be the crank or really? something like that. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, just get like Gen Four internals and then just use this block still. Yeah. So. Yeah, get all the machine work done. Yeah. Hopefully, the crank is still good. Well, no, I'll just do a Gen 4 crank. Yeah. And then new new uh, bearings, and new bearings, Gen 4 crank, and then get some um, Gen 4 rods. Gen 4 rods and pistons, and then just do some brand new piston rings and gap for boost, so then it's all just yeah ready to go. Well, I mean, it's bittersweet. So now. He, he was hoping to have his daily back, but now it's going to have to be torn apart even further. But at least now it's 
gonna get all rebuilt and stronger and better so yeah. that hopefully this doesn't happen again. And it's coming back turbo this time. It's, I'm not gonna throw it back all motor again. It's, it's gonna have a turbo kit on it. Yeah. I'm already gonna have everything off. I might as well do the, the, the feed line and the return line. And yeah. while I'm already there, I might as well throw the, the uh, <laughs> You're so cute. You little wiggle butt. You're a cute wiggle butt. You need to stop picking on my dogs. You know that? You need to stop picking on my Do You pick on somebody your own size. Go on, pupper. Say, stop picking on me. Finally got him on video. This is what he does to bees, bro. I don't even know how it is he catches their asses. <laughs> Did you really eat that? Bro, what is wrong with you? <laughs> well, Raven left for work. Boy needs to put in some overtime, man. <laughs> Cause uh yeah, it he's Got to completely rebuild that damn engine, which is unfortunate. Anyhow, I have some running around I need to do. I need to go get some material for a couple of projects. I'm wanting to build something for the blazer. So I need to go and get some large sheets of cardboard. Um, I think I know where I can go and get some at. I would really like to pick up some aluminum if I can. I sent my old boss a message. That's who I always go and buy my sheets of aluminum from because he gets them so cheap because he buys them by just big stacks on pallets, bro. Um, I could get a sheet of aluminum from him a, a four foot by a four foot by 10 foot sheet for just over $100, where that same sheet, if I went to like a metal supplier, it's gonna cost me like probably like $300, you know what I'm saying? He gets it for a really good deal because he literally buys like pallet, like tall stacks of aluminum at a time because it's a sign company, bro, they go through it. So I'm gonna try to do that. I sent him a text message, but he's one of those people that he'll respond tomorrow and be like, yeah, come tomorrow. <laughs> and it'd be like two days later. And I'm over here like, I'm a YouTuber, man. I need this shit now. <laughs> and we might run down to a welding supply shop to get some wire for khaki for the battery. But before we do any of that, I need to mow the damn grass. You gonna mow the grass for me, puppers? Huh? You gonna mow the grass for me, dude? is mode and yes I've had my battery on a charger <laughs> I think the Suburban's one of them I need to put one of those damn kill switches on so stop draining the damn battery but honestly I put the battery the, the this battery has been on a charger for a few days now because honestly I haven't been driving the Suburban at all I've been driving the Blazer as my daily but I'm not gonna be able to fit a four foot by ten foot sheet of aluminum in the back of the blazer but i can fit it in the back of the suburban i actually i've already done it before <laughs> First stop is Montreux. Good lord. Hey, hey, hey. Made it. It's gonna shut. <laughs> Good lord, man. I was in there for freaking ever. I, sw I swear to God, I feel like I've been here for an hour just standing there waiting for the guy to help me. Yeah, um, 
first stop came by Montreux, uh, a sign supply shop. I was hoping that they'd have um, the four by eight sheets of cardboard, just plain cardboard. Uh, but I guess they don't carry it here. But they do have chloroplast, which is kind of the same thing. It's like a plastic cardboard. So I need some of this for making a template for something that I'm wanting to make for the blazer. So yeah, got that done. Now, I need a sheet of aluminum as well. So I need to go and see if I can get that. My boss still hasn't texted me back. My, my old boss still hasn't texted me back. That boy my boss now. <laughs> All right, so where we just came from, Montreux is over there off the main road. You got to go back here into this neighborhood. Um, and this is where I used to work at. Yes, sir. This is the sign shop I used to work at. Oh, shit. They're unloading something big. God, Derek's always got crazy shit going on, boy. Good freaking Lord, man. All right, so my boss wasn't answering me because, God, I keep saying my boss, my old boss. I ain't got no damn boss, man. <laughs> my old boss was not answering me because he is currently in Poland um, So I, I don't know. I think I've told you guys this before but my old boss was Polish um, And he goes to Poland every year. So that's where he's at right now. That's the reason why he's not responding But I did get aluminum and I got freaking cardboard dude <sighs> I went to Montreux hoping to get cardboard and they didn't carry it so I ended up buying that damn piece of chloroplast, which that one piece of chloroplast, that one piece of chloroplast was $17, bro, which ain't a big deal because I needed something. But then I get there and I'm getting the aluminum from them um, and they have huge ass sheets of cardboard that they're throwing away. And I'm like, I sat inside a Montreux for like a freaking hour for that damn chloroplast, man. Anyhow, it was really dope seeing all my old co-workers and stuff. A lot of them watch the YouTube channel, so if you guys are seeing this, hi, what's up? <laughs> Anyhow, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to get. I'm gonna head back to the house now. I also wanted to go and get some welding wire for khaki, but uh, I think I'm gonna hold off until another day to pick that up because it's already going on five o'clock and all those places close around five and the traffic is starting to get crazy and I need to get home and let my damn dogs out of the house before they piss all over the place. Well, it doesn't have any damn satellites again, so, but y'all already know. <laughs> We're out in the suburban, bro. We gotta do ourselves a draggy run. <laughs> Dude, holy crap man this thing is slow as shit let's see what we got i don't know why the damn thing's not working quarter mile wow 17.9 boy what'd you know about that <laughs> so i was having a conversation with a friend and uh she had said that what do you think it's gonna run like a 19 i was like shoot it's probably gonna do like a 25. <laughs> so hey the suburban's a lot quicker than what i thought it was man hell sheets of cardboard I got for free these are like four foot by 12 foot long the size of the aluminum two of them dude I'm just 
I'm mostly just upset because of how long I had to wait to buy that damn piece of chloroplast. I genuinely was in there for like, like 45 minutes, an hour. The guy had one dude he was helping in front of me, and then he had like a bunch of paperwork he had to do for it, for whatever reason. Like I'm sitting there forever listening to this guy with a stapler. Like halfway through he asked me, did you have a phone order that you were picking up? I'm like, no. Mm -mm. Oh, okay, I'll, okay I'll, I'll be with you in a moment. Is it... Like, what the fuck? Anyhow, yeah, two pieces of four foot by 12 foot long, just cardboard, flat pieces of cardboard. No, not cardboard boxes, just flat pieces of cardboard, which is perfect for making templates. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like super thick. It's kind of like on the thin side. So yeah, I really like this stuff. I used to bring this home all the time when I worked at the sign shop. But the most important part is I got one sheet of four foot by 12 foot aluminum. So they didn't have four by 10. They only had four by 12. So I had to have them cut it in half because yeah, that was not gonna fit in a Suburban. Look, that right there is a six foot piece. Imagine the 12 foot piece would have been way in the hell out here, bro. You guys ready? Out front this time. Out front. Out front, go play in the grass. Jesus, watch where you're swinging that tail, girly. Watch where you're swinging that tail, girly. You're gonna break that thing one day, you know that? Jesus, Lord. What's up, what's up, baby? Yeah, what's up, baby? What's up, you crazy? <laughs> Shake it out. Well, yeah, shake it out, huh? <laughs> hey, high five, high five, high five. Come on, show them your nose, high five. She high fives with her nose. Come on, Lola, Lola. Boof, boof. <laughs> good girly, good girly. Kind of included a kiss in with it, but good girly. All right, all right. Go play. Go burn off some energy, huh? Go burn. <laughs> Stop burning it off on me crazy well i appreciate you guys hanging out with me today man i didn't really have a whole lot going on i just wanted to give you guys the update on brave and Jukon, the unfortunate news uh but it is what it is man like i said earlier it's just it's bittersweet but more than anything braven wants to turbo this so at least now at this point he's going to be able to tear it down get the block all machined uh he's looking for gen 4 uh, entire the entire rotating assembly from a generation 4 LS uh, It's a lot stronger especially the rods I, I don't know about the pistons and all that stuff, but I know the rods most certainly are a lot stronger um, But yeah, he, he's gonna upgrade the internals a little bit with some gen 4 stuff uh, Get some fresh machining going on a new oil pump and be able to gap the rings a little bit more for boost so this thing's gonna have Gen 4 internals with a little spoolie boy going on. You know what I'm saying? All wheel drive. God, then all he'd need is like to put a a, a a holly on there or something. Get some. Dude, could you imagine some rolling anti-lag? <laughs> I swear Honda guys, man. Even whenever you're trying to make engine noises that's supposed to be a v8 you make it sound like a honda <laughs> anyhow yeah like i said i didn't have a whole lot going on today but i did need to go and get this material and stuff picked up and i knew it was going to take freaking forever now i do have a bunch of cleaning that i need to do um i know it's not like a big mess in here but i need to get rid of especially this shelf this is all odds and ends and just stuff left over from all the different projects that we have worked on on the blazer and it is now time to go through it and get rid of the stuff i don't need move all the stuff that i want to keep over to the parts corner where everything goes to die it's basically what i need to throw away right now and then whatever goes into the parts corner is what i'm going to throw away later 
for the most part. I definitely need to get a shelf cleared off before we start tearing Braven's Yukon apart so we're capable of keeping that organized. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here though. I have to get started on this. I need to make templates and I have something that I'm wanting to fabricate for the blazer. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it all done in one day. So I need to get started on it today so that I can hopefully get it done in time to keep up with my daily uploads, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, once again, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cool.